Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. If it is your first your first time watching, um, there's some, um, I think there's about eight or so videos to go check out after this. Um, but yeah, as I think if you read the description on my last video, and the one before it, yesterday's videos, you'll know today is the South Day. We got AFC South first. Um, about as mediocre and as boring as a video that uh, in this series, but um, doing it anyway. So uh, again, might as well just get right into it. The first team we have, division winners last year, Houston Texans. Um, yeah, they're division winners. No, yeah, they were the division winners. Sorry, my bad. Um, I'm gonna be honest. The first thing I think of when I think of Houston Texans is that uh, the time that Vince Wilfork showed up in nothing but overalls and a cowboy hat. That was that's the first thing I think of whenever I think of Houston Texans. But um, as I mentioned, I'm about as mediocre as the division as they get. I have them going eight and eight um, with their potential going all over the place. Um, I got four and twelve as the absolute worst, and twelve and four is the best. So um, so yeah, they play some tough games. Um, they have they have to face Kansas City and Baltimore right off the bat. Um, then two winnable games with Pitch Pittsburgh and uh, Minnesota. Um, Tennessee, week uh, seven, I think that is. Green Bay, week eight. Um, Cleveland, 11. New England, 12. Indianapolis, uh, 14 and 15, or 16, sorry. And Tennessee to close it out on 17. Uh, that doesn't sound right. But anyway, I'm rolling with it. Um, yes, tough schedule. They're missing DeAndre Hawkins. They've replaced him with a bunch of number two wide receivers. That's not going to work very well. Um, they do have a better running back this year. they got David Johnson, who should have a bounce back year, at least a bounce back year. If not, I'd ho I'm hoping for a top tier stuff from him. But yeah, Deshaun Watson should carry him to eight games this year. Next, we have the Indianapolis Colts, who I can see taking a big step up from last year with Philip Rivers at quarterback. But it's, I don't; their schedule is just a little bit too tough, and I have them going eight and eight as well, uh, with a floor of six and ten. So not as bad. They're more of a known like this; like they're more of a sure thing than Houston. That's also why I gave them uh, thirteen and three. Win potential. Uh, win potential. Um, their three losses, uh, Baltimore. The three guaranteed losses are um, Baltimore, um, Baltimore. Um, just sorry, I lost my place in my schedule. Uh, but yeah, Baltimore. Um, huh. I don't know. I don't know who else. Uh, but Baltimore for sure. They'll lose. They'll lose one to Houston at least. They'll probably lose to Green, yeah, Green Bay, um, Minnesota maybe too. But anyway, Philip Rivers should help. I think um, as I said, they have the potential to go three and thirteen and three. Um, but I just it's it's a very tough schedule. Pittsburgh too. It'll it'll be it'll be a tough year for Indianapolis. Are you tired of losing your fantasy football league every year? Well, I got something for you. My man over here, Thomas, he put together a website. Very helpful. It helped me do my draft. It has rankings. It has sleepers, quarterback, and three running back as of now. Probably when you see this, it'll have wide receivers and tight ends. Then by this weekend, he will have put uh, players you need to watch out for that went undrafted in your drafts. He'll have uh, players that, um, that could break out every week. Um, players, what else do you got? Yeah, I got an, another website that you suppose people seem to be forgetting about. Um, it's where I graded all the draft, I graded the draft picks. Um, yeah, it's the exact. It's xtrain22x.wixsite.com/slash uh twenty twenty draft grades. I think that will also be in the link in the description. You guys seem to keep forgetting that. But I guess if you want something else, I have um, I'll be starting up a news, um, a news outlet on there. Oh yeah, that's right. You got. You got a news source that'll always be about like a week late because you get your news stuff. You learn from Instagram accounts you try to start up. 
Anyway, this website is amazing. Uh, train x train twenty two x dot wixsite dot com backslash um, t o t h fantasy football. There will be a link for it in the description along with this dude's attempt at an Instagram page. Where are you over there? Um, yeah, go check it out. And let's get back to your video. And finally, we have the Tennessee Titans. Um, I have them going 7-9, and nine, which means that game against Jacksonville, week, um, week 14, is very important to them. <laughs> In fact, a must win, because that puts them one game off of first place. And um, I think after looking at the... Um, the I've been looking at this for a while. The um, the uh, tiebreakers could very well put them in first place. I don't know for sure as I'm just briefly skimming this. Um, but it very well could have put them in first place because if not, they if you're in second place, even you miss the playoffs. So that game will be very important. But I have them going seven and nine with a base of two and ten because I don't know how sure of a thing Derrick Henry will be this year, and um. Their receiving game, they have A.J. Brown, Johnny Smith. But outside of that, I don't know. Their defense, I'm not overly confident in it. Um, so absolute worst, 2-10. and 10. Absolute best, 11-5. and five. Um, Would be enough to get them into the playoffs, as you'll see later. Um, but yeah, overall, I think 7-9 and nine is honestly a fair record for them. As those sports pe spokespeople seem to forget, even though I told this last one, um, yeah, actually it wasn't too horrible. I do have another website. It was posted quite a bit ago. Um, I think it was it was right after the draft, um, right all the draft grades. Don't remember the exact URL for that, but it'll be in the link description and the link below. Um, this description, the link will be in the description below. Um, but yeah, this was the AFC, AFC South um, bold record predictions. Um, well, bold record predictions. Um, next video you'll see later today is the NFC South. Uh, please go check that out. Please um, give a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, don't you don't have to like and subscribe it, like it or subscribe to this. Um, this will be the content up until I get 2k21 and then there will be some live streams of the park at least that's my plan um but yeah you uh back to the like and commenting go yell at me in the comments if you think I'm wrong if I'm stupid um leave a like if you're ready for 2k21 live streams that will be happening um but yeah that's about all I got adios